Okay, so what we're gonna do here is just a simple bit of building. I'm using my building assistant, uh, which helps me with measurements. So as you can see, there's markings on here, starting at zero at the center. Uh, red lines come out to five meters and all the way to the edge is 10 meters. Circles, of course, are two meter circles, four, six, eight, 10 meter circles, depending on the shade that you're using. These all help along with the axis arrows, which are already colored. So I have uh, the red axis and I have the green axis, which is X and Y, and the blue axis, which is up and down, which is the Z axis. So basically I start by clicking and build and I'll select an object like a box. Each square of course is one meter by one meter so it doesn't matter where I click. When a box rises up there it is. It's generally half a meter by half a meter and you can see right here that's all half meter half meter so if I tab through and I change them now it's exactly one meter by one meter and you can see that by the lines on the grid and there we go and I, I even have grid uh, guides that help me snap to it And that's a simple, what we call a prim. So that's a one meter by one meter square prim. And this is, in this case, it's a box prim. Now, if I wanted it to be a sphere, I change the block type to sphere. Of course, I can use my guide over here to measure how big my sphere is, two, four, six, or eight centimeter, or millimeter, meters, not millimeters. We are meters here. Um, I can change it to a cylinder. Make a prism out of it. Tube, even though it doesn't look like a tube. It's a ring even though it doesn't look like a ring and there's a test box anyway we'll go with just a standard box and this is how we begin that's got a little bit of taper on it we don't like any of that We begin with just a, a simple box, and actually, I'm going to I'm going to build a chalice. So we're just going to keep this simple, and we'll start out with a cylinder. I don't want it to be that tall. I want it to be fairly short. So we'll just make it. That's the base of the chalice, and we'll just put that on the ground. Now, instead of building a whole nother prim, I just want to make a copy of this one hold the shift key and drag the up arrow and I've got a copy. Now I can work with that one. Now for this one, this will be the stem of the chalice. So we'll start by putting it flat on the stand and we'll make this one fairly thin. Actually we could probably go with Point two meters. That looks fine. I can resize the whole thing later when I'm done. Now that's for precision. If I wanted to rotate it, click on the rotate, and then of course clicking one on one of the rings, in this case the red ring, and I can use my guide 45 degrees. I can use my blue ring on the x-axis, bring the green ring and we're back to the top again. 
I can also stretch it if I wanted to, so I can grab a corner and stretch it and make it small again. And in this case, I didn't get exactly back, so I'll just do 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And one. And we are back to the original size. Okay. Now, for the top of the chalice, and actually we're going to do this one back at the base again. Instead of one, we're going to go with uh, 0.5 and 0.5, how about 0.75? Three quarters of a meter. That looks fine. Now I want to do the top or the cup part of the chalice. So again, I'm going to hold the shift key and click on the blue button, drag it upwards. Now I've made a, a copy. And I want this copy to be a sphere. My sphere, I want it to be perfectly round. So we'll always go with. Uh, ones to start with. Now I want to make sure that that's sitting right on top of the stem. That's pretty close. Just want to intersect it just a little bit. Now I want to cut this in half too. So what we're going to do is cut the path. There we go. It's actually looking more like a bird bath, but basically that's what a chalice looks like. Alright, now we want to have a, a hole in it as well. Oops, that's not the one I want. We want hollow. There we go. Now we've got a cup, or what looks like a cup anyway. And I don't like perfect. So this is too perfectly in half. So why don't we make the height of the cup about like that. There we go. That's better. Now I look inside the cup and as I drag up and down I just want to make sure that I'm not intersecting the stem all the way into the cup. There we go. Now, that's the start of my cup. I want to link everything together so that it's one solid object. So, as soon as I get my mouse to behave, I'm holding the shift key and selecting all three parts, and then I'm going to link them. There we go. Alright, so I have the beginning of a cup started. Looks nice, except I want it to be something looking like textures for a cup. So why don't we make the inside gold, because gold always looks great. So we'll select a texture. And we'll select the inside of the cup texture. We'll start blank to start with. And then we'll give it a color. Actually, I think I have a texture of gold. So instead of a color, let's select the material. Gold. Gold texture. Okay, that's gold texture. Now, that looks awfully horrible because it's mapped in there at the one-to-one -one scale. We'll use that. But we're going to change that. To give it more of a shimmery. There we go. Well, and it's not bright enough, so let's give it some. Uh, there we go. Nice and bright. Okay. Now. That's the inside of the cup. And I don't like that little divot over there on the side, so let's see what we can do to move. Well, we probably won't be able to move that. 
Because that's the actual center of the cup. That's all right, it's just decoration. So now we want to do the outside and the base. What, is, what do you say we just do something simple like uh, a black? That looks pretty good. Actually, blue is probably a better color. Yeah, blue kind of rocks. And we'll give it some shine as well. So let's just uh, select all three here, one, two, and three. And give it some shininess, and we'll give it some low shine. Now we'll give it some medium shine. And we'll even give the inside a bit of shine. And high shine is too much. We'll give it low shine. There we go, we've made a we've made a cup. Now the rim is kind of unfinished. As you can see, we've got a wood texture on the rim, so we want to select the texture, select the surface actually, and we'll probably give that the blue as well. That gives it a more finished look. Oh, and that's one half. So we're going to select that texture over here and give it the blue as well. There we go. Now, now that all three parts are linked together, when you click on it, the whole entire, the entire object is um, selected. And now I can stretch it and resize it. Cup stem and the base all at the same time. And there you go. Got a cup. So that's the easy stuff. You've seen some of the difficult stuff. Of course, it's going to be wood too because I didn't texture that. But there you go. Now I can actually wear this if I wanted to. Attach to my right hand. Whoa, where'd I go? I went flying around. <laughs> Let's try that again. Edit. Or attach. Right hand. There we go. Now, if I really wanted to position this cup properly in my hand, and obviously the right hand was probably wrong, so let's detach it. And it went flying off somewhere. How about that? Well, thanks to property auto returns, that will eventually, let's look down below, that will eventually come back to me automatically. Yep, it's not down there. And it's not up above anywhere. Oh, okay. Anyway, thanks to auto return, that cup will come back to me and probably end up in my inventory. As a matter of fact, this is probably it right here. And sure enough, it is. So we can rename that to a simple cup. There we go. Now, let's try what I wanted to do that before and put that in my left hand. So, or attach left hand and what do you know it is now 
in my left hand. However, that's not the way a cup should go. So what we want to do is edit and, and edit its position. So give it a little bit of a twist. Set it down below the thumb a little bit. Send it more toward the middle of the hand. Take a peek at it. Yeah, it looks like I'm holding it. Done. Alright, now I'm holding a cup in my hand. Okay, so that was a fun video. I think we're all done with that. <laughs>